Hi, Therese. Hi, Chow. Hi, Desiree. Hi, Jan. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Jen. Hello, Miss Carol. Hi, Candace. Hi, Ruth. Hello, Judy. Hi, Susan. Look what I just got. Wow, this is a lot bigger than I remember them being. This is quite a big tool. How, how do I get that to come out? Oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, it just came in the mail. It has the scoring and the cutting blade. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Well, maybe I'll play with that today, too. <laughs> Hi, Kat. Yes, we see you, hon. Hi, Emily. Hey, Noelle. How are you feeling? I have, like, the worst headache since I got home today. I already took, like, four Advil. Hi, Beverly. Hey, Denise. Hello, Ruth. Yes, it is from Stampin' Up. Hi, Tracy. So I just got back from work and there was these boxes waiting for me and I'm of course going to share with all of you people. And then we're gonna do some fun stuff. So I just opened up my new Stampin' Up! trimmer. I ordered some extra blades. So good thing to have there. I got some, the new ink pads that were sold out before, Bumblebee and Just Jade. Um, I will look, Stacy. These are cool. These are called beaded pearls. And I know they're in the holiday catalog, but to me, these look like when you make like wedding cards. These would be wedding invitations. I think I'll order some more of these. They're very pretty. Very nice embellishments. There is a freaking, you know, I don't know where these gnats are coming from, and they're driving me crazy. I got the, um, Cobwebs embossing folder. These two are my, uh, or this one is for my friend. Where is the other stuff she got? My friend Barbara ordered. I feel like I'm missing stuff here. Where's my order catalog? Oh, it says they sent everything. All right. Well, I know some of these are my friend Barbara's, so I can't open all of them. These are mine. Black glitter paper, because you know we need that for Halloween, for the Halloween cards I never make. Oh, these are Barbara's. Okay, she got the gleaming Christmas paper. I got this last year. And then she got, she got Magic in the Night Designer Series paper. So I'm not going to open those, because those are not mine. Um, she got this gnome for the holidays. Super cute. That is a red rubber stamp set. <laughs> so those are cute. I got these um, sequins for everything. And it's like a four pack of different color sequins. So you got like this red, golden, silver kind of autumn colors. And then these are like greens. So I thought those were cool. Uh, I don't like how they came packaged, so I will be putting these into my own little jars. But that's cool. And then I got this Christmas stamp set called Wrapped in Christmas. And this is red rubber as well. I just really like this one. Surround yourself in the season, in the, in the love of the season. Hey, Noel, there's your name. Peace on earth. It's the most wonderful time of year. Let the joy of the season fill your heart. A little something for you. Christmas blessings to you and yours. They used to have this Merry Christmas with this retired house that was the same kind of font. So I really like this. So if you're interested in any of these Stampin' Up! goodies, let me know. And then I am going to be doing a Zoom class. For those of you that want to order this card kit, I want to show it to you so you can order it. 
It is called Joy of Sharing Card Kit. It is item number 153650. Um, if you want to order that from me, I would love to have you in my Zoom class, my very first Zoom class. So let me show you what's in here. You get this beautiful little stamp set, photopolymer, wishing you a season filled with the special warmth of friendship, the precious joy of sharing, and the wonderful blessings of happiness. Merry Christmas, season's greetings to you and yours. And then there's a little pine cone, sprig, and little berries. You get a little stampin' spot of mossy meadow. They give you a stamp block. So you get your own little stampin' up stamp block, acrylic block. You get some um, dimensionals, which is foam, foam pop dots. You get, I think this kit makes 15 cards. So you get the envelopes. These are nice, heavy envelopes. They're not cheapy, thin envelopes, so that's nice. And these are five by seven cards. So these are the card bases. Okay. And they come with this foil accent that you can leave like that. Hi, look, still my work dress. Or you can pop the center out if you want to, very gently. And you can stamp in the middle, or if some of you, I don't know who's going to be doing photo cards this year, but if you can get some photo cards, look at how nicely framed that is. You can just put your picture in there. And set that off. So you get the envelopes, the card bases, these gold foiled frames. You also get lots of kind of embellishment pieces. So these are like labels. They're not sticky. So it looks like plenty of those. So you can stamp and put these on the outside or the inside. You have some more smaller labels, and then these are red fishtail banner labels. So you get a couple pages of those. There's like three pages of each one, so plenty. And they just pop right out. We stamp the sentiment on, and then we glue it in place. Okay, and then some little gold, uh, little berry embellishments. So these are little gold dots. Did I get it? I think I got it. I don't know. So these are hard to see, but they're tiny little gold. See them? So those are your little accent berries. Don't look at my terrible nails. All right. And then even more about, this is more than you're going to need for 15 cards. There are the glue dots. So those are glue dots. And even more embellishments here. So we have these nice cutout poinsettias. You can layer these or pine cones. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages of those. I think that's a mistake, but that's a lot. So you get a lot of those. And then, like I said, these are the little, these are glue dots. So a lot in this little box that you're probably going to have more than enough left over if you wanted to add your own cards you don't have to use these you can do the typical a2 size but i thought hey this is a quick way we can throw together 15 christmas cards you know and for me i'll just keep them in my car when i stop at all my stores i'll just give one to each of the managers and i'm done so um yeah that's that was a lot more than i expected to be in there so it is called the joy of sharing card kit 153650 if you want to order that from me and then, like I said, I will do a little Zoom class for you guys. I'm just going to save this so if somebody asks me what it is. And depending on how many people sign up, I'll probably do, maybe we'll do like a weekend of it. Like maybe we'll do a Saturday class and a Sunday class. So that way people in different time zones, different parts of the world can get in on that fun. Hi, Gloria. Okay, so that's the Stampin' Up! stuff. Let me move this box over here. All right. Then I got this email.
email from Arteza saying, hey, we got new stuff. Do you want to check it out? And I was like, of course. <clears throat> so let me show you this one first. I swear they, they spy on me, you guys. <laughs> 30 blank watercolor postcards expert. 140 pound, four by five and three quarters. Don't forget Arteza has that back to school sale going on right now. Comes in this cool little tin. Oh, it's A for Arteza. <laughs> and they are exactly that, watercolor postcards. That, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. We can stamp on here and use the watercolor markers on there. Oh, you guys, I'm so going to send these to you guys. How many are in here? 30 are in here. That's so cute. Ooh, is it card front size? Hold it, please. My ADHD is kicking in. I thought I had a card front on the desk here. All right, we'll just use that. So it's just larger than card front, so you could make it a little smaller. It does have nice rounded edges, but that's heavy-duty watercolor paper. That'll be fun to play with and experiment with. I did not take a net. All right, moving on. Next item, blank watercolor cards. This is a two-pack, 140 pounds. 25 in each pack. Oh, and comes with 25 envelopes, and they are 5.2 inches by 7.2, so five by seven cards. Let's see what these look like, and they come in a two pack. And I will, um, if you don't have my Arteza link, I will link it for you guys, and you use the code extra 15, and you get an extra 15% off. So that's cool, it comes in a two pack. One for you and one to share. This is, I love this stuff because then I become like this faux watercolor. I just stamp and color it with my little watercolor markers and I'm ready to go. Okay, so these do come with envelopes. Your typical standard envelope. Five by seven. And then the cards themselves, wow, there's a lot in there. Are blank. It's, they did the work for you. They cut the watercolor paper and they already did the scoring and folding for you so all you have to do is stamp and color i dig it now there is some texture to here you know what these are going to look cool with the pan pastels too oh you guys the ideas are rolling thank you chow chow has listed my arteza link for you guys and don't forget the discount code is extra 15. Nice little storage box to put them in. Wouldn't that be great, though, if you gifted these to somebody who's maybe just getting into card making? These are going to be great for um, watercolor markers. For those of you, Noel, I'm thinking about all your brush -o backgrounds that you've been making. <clears throat> um, but you get one, they get one, and then we can stamp in watercolor. You can do your brush -o backgrounds, your color burst backgrounds. Ryan, your distress backgrounds. You can use your pan pastels on these. So these are going to be really cool to play with and do some, you know, even it says on here, mixed media techniques. So, yeah, I am excited to get these and play with these. Thanks, Arteza. We'll definitely be doing a future video on those. Uh, you guys want to see the ugly mink and her mink makeover? <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Hi, Kim. Kiki, I mailed your birthday card out today. Ta-da! This is the Arteza Holographic Self-Adhesive Vinyl. And this was my Anna Griffin mink, which I had accidentally given a chem chemical peel to. <laughs> um, but I was thinking about yesterday, how am I going to paint this? Because if you guys saw, I tried to airbrush it with the alcohol ink and it didn't come out so good. So then I thought, oh my gosh, what if I put that holographic vinyl on there? Because I had that holographic sticker on here and it was like really hard to get off. And I was like, that would work out great. And it, if, I, if I mess it up and I don't like it, I'll just put a new one on. And then I put one of my new 
FSC decals, which are the perfect size now. The first ones were too big or too small, and now this is just right. I even put a little, a little one on the button there. So, cool, right? So pretty. It's like a golden yellow, but then it has pink holographic in it. Yes. So, and all I did for your sake, it, for, so you guys know if you want to do yours, is I cut the strip. I believe this is three and a half inches wide. Yeah, it's three and a half inches wide. And then this piece of, of vinyl is 12 inches. So there's a couple inches down here that didn't get covered, but who cares? Nobody's going to see that. So it goes all the way. And then I drew a template on a piece of paper. Here it is, okay? So I, I basically took a pen and traced around, and then I put ink on it so that when I put my vinyl on top, the ink transferred to the vinyl. I don't know if you guys can really see it. And then I um, cut around it with an X-Acto knife, and then there's where I punched the little circle to get the little circle button. So it's really not that hard to do. I don't think it will, Barbara, because I had that other Arteza vinyl on there, and it, it was hard. It wouldn't come off. The heat actually made it stick even better. Yes. So, that's my redo. But anyways, here for the main attraction is... Um, just moving things off the desk. Is Margaret here? Where are all my Australian peeps at? <clears throat> Thank you, guys. I'm actually going to plug this in because we're going to be playing with some new stuff. So we're going to let that heat up. And then we'll see if the, mink, if the, um, the vinyl holds up or not. We'll find out together. So if you hear clicking... Yes, it's my old little mink clicking. I'm going to go to three and let that warm up. Where are my... Margaret is here! Margaret, I have a sneak peek for you, darling. But before I show it to you, I'm going to use my new trimmer and cut some foil down. Stacy asked if there was a hidden thing on the back. I don't see anything hidden here, it's just a trimmer. It's pretty lightweight. It does have this extension arm. It's pretty tight. Get that to open up if you need it. There, it looks like there's protective plastic coating covering it that you would peel off. And then you have your slicing blade and you have your, um, what do we call that? Scoring blade. So this will make Miss Stacy happy if I slice the the foil nice and neat. Let's see. Let me do it like this. Oh, what was Christopher Allen and Simon were saying? They're going to make ASMR videos, so maybe I'll do that for you guys. Maybe I'll be like... Ooh, it's so pretty. Hey, Leah, you want to hand me some um, foils over there? And I am mixing up some Creative Vision Stamps foil with some of the new H&H &H foil. I will tell you, I don't have any foils to show you from the new company, but you're going to see that there's quite a bit of similarity. So, um... Just keep that in mind. It, it is going to be high quality textile foil available um, at a company based out of Australia, but it will be available nationwide shipping. You're just going to have to pay, you know, whatever it is for nationwide shipping. So just keep that in mind. I don't know. We'll wait and see, Barbara. I've yet to see. I, I've never liked these these uh, sliding ones. 
I just always had an issue with them. But at this point, I don't really have a choice, so. I do that. I like that it kind of like locks down when you shut, when you close it. This is the new, um, already sold out on H&H, &H, you guys. <laughs> the color shifting teal. It's pretty cool. So a couple pieces of that. Let's see, what else can we do here? We've got some green. Hey, Leah, you want to grab me like the wave? What's this? I don't know what this is. Make me blush. It's, it's, I don't know, in that big old pile of foil. Yeah, it's, it's, I can feel it grabbing. Something's grabbing it to lock it in place. So, yes. Open that up. Yeah, I wasn't able to find some, like, get me some blues, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and I think on the right side there is one that kind of looks like waves, maybe. These plates come off because you have to be able to replace them. So they, they pop out if you need them to. Um, is that, oh, I was looking for this sticker. Where'd you find this? Stuck to that one. Oh, there's one in there. Here it is. There's one in there that kind of looks like, it looks like waves. Like beach waves. King Neptune. Oh, I don't think it does that. No, I don't see any fancy schmancy stuff like that. I don't know that you'd travel with this. It's kind of big. Oops, see my blade just popped out of there. I had to push it back down. Yeah, there's like a tiny little opening there so that you can open it if you wanted to um, cut the blade. You know what? I don't think I'm cutting my foils big enough. Whoops. Let's go a little bigger here, Nance. Oh, I definitely don't think I was cutting them big enough. Hold on. I think I need to go bigger. Hold on. I can't show you this yet. I know, it's killing you. Believe me, it will be worth the wait. Oh yeah, I should have been cutting way bigger. Mm-hmm, girlfriend, bigger. <laughs> All right, well, we'll cut down to the, match the size of the foils. I cut at the top so you don't get close to the opening. You know, it's all about cutting from the top, cutting from the bottom. Would you guys make up your mind with these trimmers? I'm already down here, so I'm just going to stay down here. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about anything I went over in the last two days with all the foiling that I've done? I did uh, the hot foil. I did uh, regular foil. I boiled with a laminator. We did heat and bond. I did a cameo, some new paper, and some um, magnetic sheets. Hi, Crystal. <clears throat> while I'm just cutting foil and building up your anticipation. All right, I'll just cut a few more and then I, I can get to showing you guys what we got here. I just wanna have some different colors here. <clears throat> Okay, so I will say um, this company has been working for months to launch this for the Australian folks and uh, reached out to me and said, you know, we'd like to send you some to try out, see what you think, what do you think of the designs and so on. 
They are going to be carrying textile foil. Unfortunately, with COVID, it did delay the release of some things. But today, I do have I have some packages that are stuck in customs. So I can't show them to you because I don't have them yet. But this product I am going to show you today is in stock at their store. Um, I will give you the link. Um, again, they said they will ship all over the country. Um, I'm sorry, all over the world, not just the country. But again, they are based out of Australia. So I know you, um, you guys that are not here have kind of felt left out with not being able to get quality textile foil. Well, that's what they're going to be carrying. So it will be the same good quality foil that uh, we all have jumped on and been raving about. And while I'm speaking, I want to say thank you, Carol, for your generous donation to everybody that's pretty new to foiling and giving out some free uh, foils. So kudos, double high five to you, Miss Carol, for your generosity. We need more people like you in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And I think I think that's good for now. If I need to cut some more, I'll, I'll get up and get some more. But I don't want to, I don't want anybody to the burst waiting. I do like slicing it with the trimmer, though. Okay. So, how many of you Australians have heard of the company Crafty Critta? Get my little dusty dusty here. Crafty Critta. Pamela, I am. I have a little bit of a gift for the FSC to see. This is going to be some fun eyeball stuff here. Hold on. Oh, I hope that doesn't go in the camera. Crafty Critta is an Australian-based company. Go ahead and look it up. And they have been doing... They sell, um, in case you didn't know, craft organizing supplies that fit in your IKEA units. Um, they sell custom-made carved pieces that you can um, paint, distress, things like that. And I believe they also do shirts. And I don't know if the owner is going to be on here and want to reveal herself or not. So we'll just keep her anonymous for now. Um, but these graphics, you guys are going to love them. So I hold in my hands one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of foil art. Are you ready to see them? Chow, thank you for linking them. And I'm definitely going to need to cut more foil because uh, we're going to be here a while. <laughs> I should have I should have plugged in both minks and do one one at a time, right? Side by side. Okay, here we go. All right. So, congratulations to Crafty Critta for launching your foil art. Like I said, they do have foils coming. This foil art is already on their website, so go ahead, feel free to shop. Um, their foils are going to be coming, but you can use any toner foil that we talked about in the meantime I will say uh, the textile foil is going to be a little bit more superior but if you do have other foils that it should work fine just remember to dusty dusty all right here we go ready all right um this one is called nautical breeze you get eight sheets and I it's uh, two of each design. They're very large sheets. So you're getting an eight and a half by 11. So you cut it in half and you have, um, let me, let me, it says 210 millimeters by 148 millimeters. So let me measure this for, for our American friends here. It is almost six inches by eight and a half. So, yeah, you're getting nice sizes here. And already I can tell you, look, it goes edge to edge, you guys. Remember how I was complaining about that before? You're going to get a full card back, card uh, front size here if you're doing A2 cards. So this one, again, is called Nautical Breeze. It has these beautiful ships. So you get two of each. So you're basically getting a full-size sheet. Okay. This is, what do they call this on the boat? I don't want to say the steering wheel. 
This is exciting, Tracy. Yes. No, she'll ship anywhere in the in the world. What is this called? Is it just called the wheel? The helm? Oh, we got to cut some wood grain down for that. This one is a nice mixture. So you have the boat, lighthouse, the life ring. Um, my brother's in the Navy, so I'm already like, these are going to be so cool for him. Um, so you get a nice mixture of designs on that one. And then the last one is the, the hook and the rope. The anchor, not the hook, the anchor and the rope for that. So, and then it does come with um, directions. Oh, and there will be SVGs available. You're going to have to check their website for that because um, the samples that I saw, I'll show you what I mean. The samples that I saw were they cut out the images and foiled them or foiled them and cut them, similar to like what you can do with a scan and cut. Um I'll have to go on and play with that. I have not done that. Like I said, these just came in the mail today. So I was like so excited that I was like, I got to unbox these tonight. So that one's called Nautical Breeze. Very nice. Helm. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right. The next one, we're going to stick with our nautical theme here. Because, of course, they're in Australia. Um, it's called Tropical Water, and I love, this is a must-have for me. If you guys love Sebastian, this is going to be a must-have for you guys, too. So, again, eight sheets, and this is printed on that heavy semi-gloss paper. It's not on flimsy paper, so the same kind of paper we're using for our at-home laser printing, that's what this is. Look how cute this is. Look, I, I can't wait to foil him. Look at the little fish. They're so whimsical. And then you have like their little shadow pieces. So you can foil him, foil a shadow, or just leave that in the background. You can decide if you want to layer it or not. Oh my gosh. It's so stinking cute. <gasps> Look at this. It's scuba gear. I did not see this one in the samples. That is cool. And you can take this up a notch. If you want to color some of these in, say you foil it and then you want to color a couple of them in. You can definitely do that with your watercolor markers. <gasps> Noelle, it's turtles! Oh my God, I'm getting so excited, you guys. I have not opened these yet. So this one, you actually get two background designs. Hold on, I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information here. So you get two background designs. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is a build your scene one. This, okay, I get it now. Look at this. So this is a scene already built. This would be great for scrapbooking. Or you could cut it and do a half scene. But you get two scenes like this. You get two waves. Tracy, Tracy, palm trees. You get a sheet of palm trees and then you get one sheet of each of these. So these you can foil and then cut out and then put them in a scene. Oh, that is so cool. So if you wanted to foil instead of having to try to fiddle with the foil on the background scene oh my gosh this is ingenious so say you didn't want like you just wanted to foil this all in one color and then you wanted to go in and foil these and pop them on and give it like the 3d what's that called when you do that when you make a scene and it's 3d oh i can't think of it hello melody yeah and then you can add these guys on there so cute. You know what? These will look cute if you do like a, a pan pastel background or a, a distressing background and then foil these and put those on. Oh, oh, the ideas are running through my head, you guys. There's that stinking gnat again. All right. So this one is called Tropical Water for that one. So you get eight sheets, but they're, they're not all the same. You get a couple different ones in there. 
I like the variety. Yes, diorama. Yes. I like the variety in this. Especially this year. We all kind of missed out on going on vacation. What a great way to, to kind of craft it. Okay. Next one. This one is kind of like background scenes. This one's called Bold Backgrounds. Proper name. Yes, diorama. That's what I meant to say. All right. So on this one, we get your stripes. Who doesn't love stripes? Love it. Two sheets of that. The, what do you call this? Hexagon, honeycomb. Some very small, tightly woven circles. And stars. I love stars. Stars you can use anytime. Stars you can use for congratulations, for graduation, for uh, 4th of July, for Halloween, especially with the stripes. So this one's bold backgrounds. So lots of fun there. These are easy when you're throwing together a quick card. You do a background, you put some foil on it, you put a sentiment on the front, you're done. <laughs> That's why I like the backgrounds. It's not too busy. The foil makes it shine, literally. And you just throw a little ribbon on there, you throw a sentiment on there, boom. Easy foiled card. You always want to keep them in their packaging and keep them away from dust. Okay, this one is called Summer Card Toppers. Some cool designs there. Okay, so this one, again, eight sheets. Oh, these are already made. Oh, Ryan, this is you. Ryan wants to get into foiling. Here you go. Imagine, Ryan, you do your distress ink on here and then you foil on top of it. Whammy! Look at that. That is so cool. You can go either way with that. You can go this way. I mean, there's really no direction you have to go in. You can go this way and do a little happy birthday sentiment on here. So cool. This one has some beautiful flowers, roses. This one has a little different style rose. Oh, they're, they're different. I see now. So this one's along the side. This one's on the bottom. These are in the corners, and this is in the corner. So you get four different styles of roses. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love this one. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Again, with the tropical theme, we have the hibiscus flowers and the big tropical leaves. I love the border. You just stamp and foil and you're done. All right, those are cool. Again, I love it because it's quick and easy. This is right up my alley. Okay, so that one's called Summer Card Toppers. And we are definitely going to be sampling and foiling these out for sure. Okay. Speaking of summer, this one's called Magical Backgrounds. This one has, oh, look at the fireworks. I'm just thinking of rainbow foil all over this. Oh, hologram. Oh, we got to do the stars on this. We're going to do the stars on this. So pretty. You know, this totally makes up for me not being able to go to a stamp show right now. I'm so excited. Okay, this is cool. It's like wavy ribbons. Almost kind of looks like wavy ribbons. I'm thinking rainbow on this for the background of a birthday card or, oh, maybe have like prom or graduation. You could do it in their colors, but you could also kind of make it look like seaweed. Speaking of seaweed, look at these bubbles. That is cool. Oh, this will make a great background for those little sea critters. Ooh. And then we have the, with the mermaid scales, scale background. These are cool. They're so tiny. They're so cool. Oh, 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 you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so magical back. They are magical. These names are great. Magical backgrounds is that one. Yeah, I was thinking the ocean, too. 
You guys don't even know how excited I am. I mean, I know I'm excited. I'm excited for my Australian people. Poor Margaret's like, I need some foiling stuff. I can't get it here. Well, now, Margaret, you got a really good store in your backyard, sweetheart. Uh, this is for my girl, Stacy. Security, check it out. Oh, my headache is gone now. I got out. My blood is pumping. I'm excited. Oops, let's make sure that doesn't touch. And I like that they give you a base and a cover sheet. So if that does happen, my bag got stuck. I'm not hurting my actual foil art. I'm only on the cover sheet. And this is also laser printed. So if you guys wanted to foil this, you could literally foil this. <gasps> Look at the pretty butterflies. You guys know Stacy and I are like obsessed with butterflies. <laughs> Tracy did the beautiful butterfly cards last week. So two sheets of that. Oh, I am rainbow foil all over the place, you guys. That is cool. And you could cut that down, like flying off. You could go this way. I see. So this one goes up this way, and you turn it this way, and this one goes up this way. That's cool. More hibiscus and tropical leaves. Oh my gosh, I have been asking for sunglasses forever. Silver foil all the way. Love it. Love it. If that doesn't say summertime. Oh, it is called summertime. <laughs> summertime. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. See, my paper stuck to my bag again. summertime yes these are the bomb these are the bomb i hope the creator is watching and reading all of these comments because yeah nailed it yes holographic foil yes melody okay here we go this one is called motorsports tracy up your alley all right here we go Dirt bikes. Vroom, 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 vroom. Did y'all know Nancy used to have a motorcycle? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Little race cars. For, these are like Formula One cars, right? Oh my gosh. All right. So if you don't know, these are huge in Pennsylvania. What are these called, Tracy? They're, they're, they're a track car, but they're huge. Like on Saturday nights, like families like ha hang out and gather let me show you guys i forget what they're called but there's some kind of a cart car here you have the drag strip light you have the formula one car you have the little drag car there the little i forget what they're called there's a name for them little engine on there me being in the car business you guys this is great this is great and then of course we got to have tools because you can't have racing without a pit crew this is great. This is really cool because I don't think anybody's ever kind of appealed to this kind of audience. So this is really cool. So this one is called Motorsport. Motorsport. I know that's on Tracy's list. Dragster. Yes. Oh, yeah. We got to put toolbox on that. Funny cars. Yes. There we go. Yes, we need more masculine artwork like that. That's beautiful. And then the last one is Hello Sentiments. This says Hello Sentiment Pack 2. Am I missing one? Hold on. Oh, I did miss one. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Let's start with Hello Sentiment Pack 1. I thought they were the same. I was wrong. So there's two sentiment packs. Hello Sentiment Pack 1. Hello Sentiment Pack 2. This is Pack 1. I love how it says, Use with Crafty Crita Foils to put the bling in your project. Bling, bling. Oh, these are great. Oh, We could have used these like three months ago. Stupid coronavirus. <laughs> Look at all of the different fonts. You get more fonts. 
You can make it masculine. This will be great if you guys are sending anything to people getting well, just people far away we haven't seen in so long. Some of the kids are going back to school. What a great sentiment for exactly what's going on right now. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so simple and yet so perfect. We cut that little line. And best wishes to you, sending hugs, warmest hugs for you, you deserve, as you are missed, are all kinds of lovely, be strong, you are one in a million, you are wonderful, and best wishes, you rock, sending, you are an original, wishing you the best, you are fabulous, make everything better, missing you, you are special, be strong, bright in the world, and everyone needs hugs. Perfect sentiment strips, perfect font to go with everything. Yes. Oh, this is great. More bigger hugs. Oh, bigger hugs. These are great. Two pages of the bigger hugs. Make that two more pages of the bigger hugs. And again, all different sentiments here between them. So this is great. Oh, this is hugs sentiment pack one. I don't know why I said hello. Hugs sentiment pack one. Everybody needs hugs. And I'm not a hugger, and these are cute. I can send cards instead of hugging people. Pamela, um, the owner, is part of our FSC group. Secret mystery. No, it's not Laura. She's Laura's retired, enjoying her life fishing and being with her grandbaby and making you guys beautiful cards. This is a, a different company. Um, okay, this one's called Hello Sentiment Pack 2. Brand new company, Pamela. Yeah, I said that. Could color them in. Yes. All right, this one's called Hello Sentiment Pack 2. Look at the big hellos. Hello. And you could color this one in. Hello. 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 Okay. So you get two of those. Oh, we get the small hellos, all the different font. I love this because, honestly, guys, I don't have the time to be making the SVGs. And I know you guys are doing a fabulous job at making the SVGs. But in this case, all I got to do is cut, foil, and go. <laughs> you know Nancy is all over instant gratification here. <laughs> you make a pack of these, you're ready to go. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Sending best wishes, you rock, you're one in a million, you're an original, which is pretty much the same kind of sentiments, but then it has you there, 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 you, 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 different size yous, be strong, you there, you there, you there, hello, you, you know, hello there, that's cool. So you get two pages of that, and then some more big hellos. I love this one. It's a big, bold hello. Big hello. So, wow, you guys, for a launch, this is amazing. I cannot wait to see how much more they come out with, how much they come out with in foils. Wow, this, oh, you guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so Baby Mink is over here warming up. We're, we're going we're gonna to foil some stuff. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, we are. We're going to use our newly remodeled. Pam, did you see my newly remodeled mink? <laughs> she got a she got a makeover. Ah, <laughs> that's great, Margaret. Yay! And like I said, she's going to have the foil soon. Everything just kind of got locked down with COVID. I have some packages that are coming, but they're stuck in custom. So I can't show you guys what's in there because I don't know what's in there. But I did cut some foils down. So let's just pull a couple of these out with the foil colors I have. And let's just have at it. But I can, I can already tell based on how they feel that these are going to be so good. All right. I got some... You know, I really need some rainbow. I can't do this without the rainbow.
because everything is better when you do rainbow. All right, this is rainbow lines from H and H. Very similar, exactly to Creative Vision stamps. Rainbow, what's it called? Not Rainbow Bridge. That's the one with the stars. I forget the name of it. I was looking for my Creative Vision stamps, but it's in the bottom of the box, so we'll just open this one up. Where's the handy dandy trimmer? Let's trim up. Make it nice and pretty. If you guys want to take a few minutes and go over there and order, I don't blame you. Go get it, girl. Because if you've met anybody in the FSC, we tend to sell things out pretty quickly. We're like piranhas. <laughs> we see foil and we're like, oh, we're going to die without all the foils. <laughs> and you guys know, as soon as I put foil in the title of my video and all the non-FSC people see it, views go up, sales go up less less for us so get your fsc butt over there crafty critter oh i should have grabbed toolbox yes i have some toolbox we'll, we'll do a couple and then i'll grab some more foils Woo! my adrenaline is pumping I mean, I looked at the outside of the packages, but that was the first time I opened them was live in front of you guys. Oh, 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 we need to do this one. We got it. Well, we'll do that one in a minute. All right, let's start with, I really like, I don't know. I'm just going to grab a pack and start foiling. <laughs> I am going to have to cut these down. But they're, they're, again, you can get two card fronts out of them, so. And here's what I would do if you can. I would order a couple packs of the ones that you like because, again, you're going to start using them. You're going to come up with ideas. You know this group is going to post ideas. And then you're going to say, oh, I wish I bought another pack. So if I were you guys, I would just, you know, shipping is probably not going to be super cheap because it is coming from Australia. But if I were you, I would definitely order more than one pack of the ones that, oops, the ones that you like. So, yes, four and a quarter. I got the Tim Holtz out because it's right in front of me. Don't judge. Don't you judge me. All right, I want to do one of these in the wood grain. Is it smaller than four and a quarter? Oh, it's smaller than eight and a half. I cut that one too small. That's okay. You guys can figure it out when you get it. All right, so here's the wood grain I got from H&H. &H. And again, I know they told me they're going to have a lot of selection of foils. I don't know all of the colors, but I saw some of the swatches, and y'all, there's a lot of foil in there. All right, do I want to use... We got paper here from yesterday. We'll just use these. Foil art. Yep, Margaret, foil art, we're calling it. Did I dust the back of the foil? Now I'm all paranoid that I didn't dusty dusty, and now I got a double dusty dusty. Dusty dusty. Oh, I know I didn't dust. There's a piece of my hair. I'm not going to lie, that gnat comes over here. I don't care. I'm smashing him. He's been annoying me all day. Okay, so we'll do that one. I'll just do a couple of each one here. And we'll see how three is enough. Because this is pretty thick cardstock. I think three is going to be enough. But we shall see.
and let that one cool. I'm going to grab some of the other ones because I cut I cut, I cut a lot of bright colored foil. So let's see how they look. Head on over there, Candace. This one, I want to see with the stars. For sure. And um, somebody remind me once I'm done here to do ink blending on one so we see what it looks like with the ink blending. <laughs> Sebastian's going to need some backgrounds for sure. I like this little bubble one. It's so thick. I keep thinking I'm grabbing two sheets of paper, but it's one sheet of paper. That's how thick it is. It's definitely high quality. Of course, we're going to have to do the sunglasses. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to grab a piece of toolbox. was going to be way more than that. Wow. Because I'm telling you, I mailed a small box to Lee and it cost me like $48 to mail it to Lee. That is not bad, you guys. Oh, let me grab some. Well, we'll grab toolbox and um, chrome in a minute. Let's use what we got here. That is not bad. Um, so these are, no. okay, so they're eight and a quarter. I measured wrong. So we'll just cut this to four. They're a little, that's okay. That's why I said I would order more than one because by the time you pay for shipping and you guys get into making these, you're going to go back and say, oh, I wish I had ordered more. reveal this one before we just make sure three is the right setting because if I need to go hotter I want to know that now before I foil all of these yes color falls thank you so much okay here we go oh I didn't do a good job on dusting that one and I think I need to go to four yep so there's a couple of missed spots and I think I'm gonna need to go to four it's not bad looking though that looks cool in the wood grain. Yeah, I'm going to go to four. Let me try four. I think because of the detail in these designs, we need to have a little bit more heat and a little more time. Let's try, let's 
try this butterfly. I'm going to try some color falls or rainbow lines, whatever you have. Let me get one that's not so big. Here we go. A coupon code, coupon code, coupon code. Hold on, hold on, stop. Coupon code, hold on. Sorry, guys. There we go. All right, if you use code NANCY01 for a week, you are going to get a 20% discount code. Yes, so surprise for the FSC, Nancy01 is going to be your discount code, 20% off. Wow, for one week. Wow, wow. Thank you, Crafty Critta. Wow, you guys. Yeah, I know. I'm pulling around. I'm so excited about foiling that I didn't see that. Yes. Now, aren't you guys... I am got admins over here blowing me up. I get it. I see it. This brush you can pick up on my Amazon store. It's like a couple bucks, but it's a nice little... It's a makeup brush, and our, our friend Ryan found it, but it's so pretty that we've been using it to dust our foil. So Nancy01 for one week only. Let's see how the, oh, my foil wrinkled. This is why I like to use those other sheets. Oh, it's so pretty. That's not its fault. That's my stinking foil wrink, link. But it's so pretty. Look at those. Oh, every little detail. And then I got a little wrinkle there, but that's okay. I can cover that up. Oh my gosh, so cute. Let's try these stars out. Yeah, 20% off, get your other sheets. Definitely, Noelle. Judy, I think if you send her a quick email, she'll take care of you. She knows you. Okay, let's try this. Let's try these stars. Oh, I see why it wrinkled. The carrier sheet's wrinkled. Let me go to my transfer folder. Oh, I forgot to move the heat up, you guys. <laughs> Whoops, I said I needed to move the heat up. <laughs> Let me do these. And if you have Big Mama Mink, you can do like the half sheet or if you're doing scrapbooking, that'll come in handy too. Or you can do, you know, multiple foilings at one time. I know that's why Stacy likes Big Mama Mink. Where is that pretty pink at? Dusty, dusty. Thank you, Crafty Critter. Oh my gosh, these are great. I really do feel like it's Christmas. You guys, I was so bummed out that all my little stamping shows were canceled. And I was like, this freaking blows. And then to get this package today, I was like, oh, I gotta go check it out. I'm going to do this one in rainbow, too. Turn it 
Teresa, I know you're only getting one, but you got to remember there, it doesn't matter to the carrier if you're buying one item or 10 items, they, they still have to pay the shipping to sending it from Australia to here. So that's why I said maybe get a couple to, to uh, cover for that. And you're getting the 20% off code using Nancy01. Yes, I'm going to do the bubbles, too. And I'm just kind of letting these cool. I went to four. I think we'll have a little bit better adhesion on four. Because this is thick cardstock. This isn't flimsy cardstock. I'm going to do these bubbles in this dark blue. King Neptune. I should have went with plain foil. Here I am using all the holographic glitter foils. I should be using some plain foil so you guys can see the beauty in the designs. I'm gonna rainbow foil this too. Rainbow foil everything. <laughs> got gone fishing in like three weeks you guys it's been too hot too rainy i'm back at work now so like today i didn't get home till late because i had to drive an hour and a half to my store i mean it was good visits i had two store visits today but like i'm back into the the work grind like for real work grind so when i come home i just i didn't even make dinner you know i told the kids you're getting cereal for dinner i'm still in my work clothes i laid on the couch and, and just kind of chilled out and then the kids are like, oh, these boxes came today. Didn't even know they were there. Opened the boxes and like ran down here and told the FSC admins, get the, get the FSC on. We got to tell them. We got to tell them. <laughs> oh, there's a fishing set. Oh. Oh, I just grabbed a couple of different ones out. I did the, um, I'm sorry, Jean. I did the. Um, I did the reveal a few minutes ago, and now I just grabbed a couple out of each one. So these are, these are I have like eight different packs here of design. So yes, there's a couple different ones here. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. I'm sure they do have Christmas designs coming, yes. Yes. Okay. So the 20% off is off of foil art. So what I'm showing you guys. Prior to shipping. Shipping, it is what it is. Like I said, they can't control what they're being charged by their postal company. She's, she's checking it. Okay. All right. So let's reveal some of these. Now your mink machine, I would test one out and see like my big mink. I would have to go to a five because my big mink is, is not as hot as my little mink.
Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do some reveals here, and then I'll grab some more foils. All right. This is the fireworks. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. So pretty. It almost looks like little flowers, too. Like if you're doing like a fairy garden stamp, oh, that would be so cute. Here's the bubbles. Now the bubbles are a little fine. They're hard to see. I'm going to do that one again. Hold on. Those are super fine. I think I might have to put a little piece of, I'm going to put a little extra piece of card in here because they're so fine. I'm going to put a little piece of, um, what do you call it? little shim in there because when you have a little a detail that that small you need to shim it all right I'm gonna try try that one again I'll try that one again Whoa, Marina, do you got a problem with your phone there? Maybe Marina knows Stacy. Marina, are you interested in foiling? Oh, that one I missed too. Oh, I missed that one. What is going on with my foils today? These are all, I can tell you that I can feel the toner printed on these and they are nice and black and my foils are not. I'm going to switch out to the other mink in a second. Maybe when I was spray painting it and throwing it around yesterday, I didn't like that. That's pretty. This little spot right there. Look at that rose. Woo! Look at those stars with holographic stars. Do that. Let me do this one again. What are you boxing up, Stacy? You sending us our surprise stamps? I'm gonna grab some plain pieces of foil while that's going through. We're gonna do some of this silver on the sunglasses. Let me move this bad boy out of the way. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Let me let me make room on the desk here, you guys. Foil is taking over my domain. You hear a big crash. It's going to be my big drawer foil that falls down on the floor.
hot in here. I have the fan behind me and I'm still sweating. Whoa. Fan on here. Oh. And you have the other fan on, right? It's like hot down here, right? It's humid. That's the problem because it's going to rain. What you got over there? Yogurts? Okay, good. At least you didn't bother me. Well, you know, it wasn't making the clicking noises, and I'm like, that's not normal for that machine. It normally makes these ticking noises. So that was my first sign that it didn't seem right. And I can tell you, I can feel the, the quality and the texture in the paper. So, and it was wrinkling up my foils, which my foils, you guys know, my foils very rarely wrinkle. I don't do wrinkled foil. Let's do some reveals and then I'll cut some more of the designs. She's fi she's fixing that Candace. Yes, we did we did uh, see that she's fixing it. Hold on. You're not the first to tell me. She's she's on it. That's what we get for get doing a surprise surprise unboxing. Okay, let's see if these bubbles came out any better. Definitely better that time around. So when you have a finer design, like see how see how fine these designs are? The first time it only foiled half of them. Put a piece of cardstock underneath to push that pressure up onto the foil. Definitely came out better, for sure. And then I get this piece of negative that I can now use on um, heat and bond. Yeah, put that pressure on there. Let's see if that helped this one out too. See, I just put that piece of cardstock in there. Ah, I can see the dust under this one. Definitely helped out. Oh yeah, big difference. So some of these, you might need just, just put a little extra pressure in there. Look at how pretty that is. She's fixing it. There's a problem with the code. It didn't enter correctly. Wow. All right, so on those little bits that that is too fine, I would say set your heat, check your heat on three, then maybe move to four. Maybe we're okay on three, and I just need the shim. But there's a lot of details in these designs. So I could probably fix that wood grain one, too. There's the gnat. It's an unlucky gnat. Okay, let me move the, I'm saving all my foil sheets so that I can reuse them. Um, I wanted to cut some of those. Oh, here they are. Here they are. You know, the gnat is annoying me. Okay, she said, try the code now. <laughs> she said, try it now. Let me know if it works. She'll fix the orders that went through, she said. Wow, Candace. Now that is some savings. See, that pays for shipping right there.
Thank you, Crafty Critta. They are happy. Happy FSC. She says, thank you guys for the orders. So sorry about the little mistake. FSC supporting FSC. Let it cool. Let it cool. Let it cool. I want to bring some more. I wanted to do... I wanted to do the palm trees because I kept thinking gold palm trees. This is an amazing group of crafters. You guys are so awesome. I really mean that. I'm so lucky. So I went to the, the one store today and the sitting there having a conversation with the owner and um, he saw, I have a FSC sticker on the back of my, on the back of my um, laptop. And he goes, what is, what is that? And I said, oh, I do, I do um, have a little rubber stamping thing that I do on the side. And he goes, oh, and he goes, so do you like take the linoleum and cut it yourself? And I'm like, whoa, now you're really going back old school. I go, no, we, we buy our stamps. <laughs> but it was really cool for him to, to say that, you know, so he wasn't like looking at me like I had three eyeballs or something. So that was neat. Let me move this out of the way and do this. Dusty, dusty. Dusty, dusty. I got quite a bit of dust on my desk from that, that teal embossing powder yesterday. You guys saw me spill some of it out on my desk. Well, it's lingering. It's all over everything. The ranger tinsel. You can scan and cut these. In fact, I was just going to say, Stacy has foiled and scan and cut after she foiled. So, yes, you can do that. I am, Emily. I'm going to get to those. Simon's on. Simon, we are working with some new foil art from a company in Australia, down under. And we got a special discount code. I'm going to cut some sentiments here. We'll do some hello and some hugs. Oh, I forgot to mention that, Susan. Thank you. Yeah, when you guys are done, check out Kitchen Sink Stamps Flash Sale. They are actually retiring 15 stamps. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a strip of these. Well, maybe I'll use my scissors. Now I'm just confusing myself. Well, many, many of our members are at that, um, is, in the, is the British Monroe event this weekend? Or is that like the upcoming? Yeah, that's this weekend, right? That they all went to that? Someday I'll go. I'll go with Tracy. I know Stacy is so proud of me right now. Look at Nancy lining everything up with the trimmer instead of hacking away with the scissors. Oh, I'm like a real crafter. It's just easier to hack away with the scissors. Look, Stacy, I did it. <laughs> oh, cut lengthwise. Oh, duh, I didn't see that. You guys are so smart. I should have did that. That's what I will do. Let me let me cut these off and then I will do that. Good observation, Michelle. Thanks. Thanks. 
See, I'm still making it too hard on myself. That's so much easier. Why didn't I think of that? Here we go. Go down this way. All right. Well, we got a couple of different ones we can do here. Let me cut some big hugs while we're here. I like the big hugs. Who doesn't love big hugs? Hi, Myra. These jumbo hugs. My new, my new trimmer's getting a workout. It's gonna take a minute to get used to it. I really do love my Tim Holtz trimmer and just that whole flailing arm thing. Mayday, mayday. Tim Holtz trimmer, flailing arms. Okay, let's do some of these guys. These guys. Okay, let's see what we got here. Look at, ooh boy, some gold palm trees. Ah, oh, love it. Okay, let's see what the sunglasses look like. Are we ready? What do I feel like this moved? Yes. Never mind the two specks of dust on there. That's that embossing powder. Look at that. So cool. Like, these are like, What's his name? Top Gun. What's his name? Tom Cruise. They're Tom Cruise Top Gun glasses right there. And these are Tom Cruise Risky Business glasses right there. <laughs> so cool. Let's keep going. Add these to the pile. Let's do some of these sentiments. Now oh, I just got... Stuff stuck, stuff stuck everywhere. Hold on, I gotta make more room. I got a very messy desk right now, you guys. Hard to believe, I know. All right, here we go. Aw, Kiki, that's so nice, because my sister tells me I'm annoying and she can't go fishing with me because I talk too much. gonna do this under the sea oh you know what let me grab some of the the fishies this is the one I gotta watch because this is the one that eats the transfer folders some sea turtles. Yeah, try and keep your greasy fingers off of there too. I can see my fingerprints are on this one, so hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. Noelle, the one that you sent me is good enough. I don't need another one. You're going to order a chicken? <laughs> okay, I'm going to let those cool down. We're going to do the seahorse. 
He's so pretty. And I want to do him in that color shift. Yes, this one. It's like color shift green, purple, pretty goodness. Telling you this embossing powder is my nightmare. Don't emboss and powder and do foiling the next day. I need to wipe the dust down. Okay, let's see how these turned out. Oh, look at it. they're gorgeous. Oh, we missed a little spot there. It's okay. That's an easy fix. These came out great. All the sparkles. So one little spot that I missed, I can run it through again. Or you can just take a little of uh, Zig Glue. I don't know if, if I've shown you guys. Well, I've shown you guys, but some people may not know. Take a little two-way glue and just put a little dab on there. And then once it dries, you can go back in and foil it. You can run it through the foil again, but you want to run it through. Don't run it through the exact same place. Run it through on a clean part of the foil. Pretty. Okay, let's see how our little turtles came out. I'm being really impatient. I need to really make sure that these cool down. Look at the turtles. So cute. Okay, let's see the seahorse. Let me leave this one out and let that glue dry. Too hot, too hot. Let it cool down, Nance. Quit being impatient. Can't help it. Ooh. So yeah, this one's color shift, so it looks kind of teal, but in a certain light, it turns like blue and purple. I don't think the camera really picks that up. Sebastian has a buddy. Pretty. Pretty, where are those? Oops, I just stuck my finger in that. You know what? You gotta go over there. And now look, look at, you can transfer that with some heat and bond. Yes. They would look good with, the, I pulled the waves one out. I don't know what I did with it. Let's do some of these. Hello. I can see you, Lindy. <laughs> All right, so once the glue is clear, you just take a clear corner, a clean corner here, and just rub it. Burnish that down and then pull that off, and now it's all covered. Nobody will now. Perfect. Okay, next. Next. 
Um, Lindy, you're going to want to, yes, <laughs> I have a whole foiling playlist, so you'll want to go back and watch that. I would start with yesterday's video, which is how to foil with a laminator. Um, I do go halfway into that, into a mink. The mink is better if you can, um, if you can justify spending the money on a mink, it is better. If you have a Tuesday morning near you, you can usually find them pretty inexpensive there. Um, but I would start there and then you can buy toner images like this, um, which make it easy. You just put foil on it and peel and reveal. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. Let's see how this big one came out. Pretty good. I missed a spot in the middle there but that's okay. Normally I wouldn't do like all of these all at once. Obviously doing that, the foil's getting wrinkled and I'm not taking my time and revealing. So this is what impatience costs you. It costs you spots, but that's my own fault. That's user error. You normally would cut your foil down to fit and do one at a time. Don't be in a hurry like I am. I'm trying to fit as much as I can in for you guys. Let's see. What other ones do we want to see real quick? Hello from the other side. Oh, Tracy, you probably want to see these um, these cars. Lindy, well, this company is in Australia, honey. It's called Crafty Critter. Go check it out, Lindy. And if you use the code Nancy01, you have 20% off for this week only. Welcome to the world of foiling. This company is in your native country. Let me try this one. She she logged on right on time. I am a little bit of a foiling addict, and I found my people when I created the foiling snabs club. I'm going to do this red. I'm going to do one in red and one in blue, and we'll see how they look. The other thing I will say is, you know, I just cut a whole bunch of foils here. Whenever you're doing foiling, and I probably did not mention this earlier. You guys just see me foiling, and I just go through it. Whenever you're doing foiling on fine line images... Um, remember that these foils that have holographic embeds in them, those are kind of like separate pieces. So they're harder to do on fine line images. So if you have fine line images, it's better to use a plain foil instead of a fancy foil, a holographic foil. It's a lot easier to use the plain foil on those. Save your fancy foil for thicker images. So like here, you have a thicker image. It has more surface area for those um, holographic images to stick to, if that makes sense. And I don't think I've ever said that to you guys. I've always just kind of cut foil and went along, but there, there's always a method to my madness. And I realize as we're doing this, I'm like, oh, I'm putting holographic foil on everything. I didn't put any regular foil. And so that's why I'm not getting that, that perfect adhesion that I normally get. So just keep that in mind. Let me try this one with blue stars. Oh, that's not big enough. That's not big enough. I'm going to grab some more foil.
Yep, little baby steps, Lindy. Go back and check out my um, playlist of all the different videos there. You'll get a little bit better idea. So we'll do the same design, one in plain and one in holographic or designer series foil and we'll see which one comes out better here. Michelle Paper Chaser. Hi Michelle. I like your name. That's cool. I won't be on here too much longer. <laughs> Hello, Charlene Jackson. My best friend's name was Charlene when I was growing up. I miss her. And then, you know, we grew up. We we're military kids. We grew apart. And last I heard, she was in Mobile, Alabama. And that's all I know. I'm assuming she got married. I know she had a baby. So, good memories, the name Charlene. Uh, I wanted to do these tools. Hello, Lynn from Milwaukee. Yep, these are, so those of you just joining us, we are showing the brand new, newly released foil art, which are high quality toner printed images from Crafty Krita. They are out of Australia and there is a discount code for our members here, which is code Nancy01. It is for one week only. So if you are watching the replay, you might be a little late to the party. This is why you want your notifications on so you know when Nancy's going live and you can get all of this cool stuff before it sells out. Because if you have met the FSC, these ladies don't joke when it comes to their foiling. And guys, I shouldn't just say ladies, I'm sorry. Here we go. All right. So let's reveal the race cars. Oh, that one actually didn't come out too bad. That's pretty stinking cool. You see there's a little fine line right there, missed there. So the finer lines, like I said, they usually don't do too well when you have these holographic foils. You wanna try to do plain foils, but that actually came out pretty good. And then here we did it with the plain foil. I don't know what's with the air bubble down here. Woo wee And you can see that one did pretty good except for my little air bubble. But it got into the fine lines a lot easier. So just remember that if it's a design that has a lot of little intricate pieces, you want to go with a plain foil. Save the holographic foil for thicker designs. That looks cool. Red light, green light, red light, green light. Okay. I'm having so much fun, you guys. Everybody leaves me and goes shopping. It's okay. So this is holographic. It's still warm yet. You gotta wait for it to cool, Nance. I can't. I can't wait for it to cool. Always try to wait for it to cool. Because the foil doesn't adhere properly if you don't wait for it to cool. That is cool. That holographic foil. So let me show you here. See these two little spots here that it missed? I'm going to replace my foil in a completely like solid area to cover that. Okay, and then we're going to run it through again. And I'm going to do a little 
a little shimmy paper underneath that and we'll try to run it through again. So if you have missed spots, you can refoil it as long as you use a cleaner part of the foil. Like don't try to line it back up and reuse the same part. Move it so that it's on a more solid piece of foil, if that makes sense. Hello, Melody. Yes, Lindy, it will show up again as a replay and then all the links will be down at the bottom. It just takes 24 hours for the comments to show up. So you won't see the comments until tomorrow. Yes, Ryan has a YouTube channel. Ryan, if you want to link that, it's Glitter Grunge Greetings. Ryan is brand new to our team in the YouTube world. And Tracy is over, I think, 1,200 or 1,300 now, Tracy. Tracy as well. Tracy just did an uh, un unboxing video, right, Tracy? Or you're going to do an unboxing video? Um, but we have a wonderful team on Facebook. That is hot. Um, the Foiling Snobs Club. And uh, we're very supportive, whether you are new or you have been doing this forever. We want to make sure that everybody has fun creating. Now what are you eating? Don't come over here with that with my foiling. I will hurt you. Okay, bye. You need to stick a cookie in my mouth and run away. And then, Lindy, when you're done, there's a video I did the other day that explains the difference between hot foiling and toner foiling. What we're doing here is toner foiling, also known as mink foiling. This is probably going to be the easiest one for you. Hot foiling takes a little bit more practice. It's a little more finicky. All right, so remember we had those two little spots that didn't foil? It's not 100%, but they're all covered now. So I don't have to worry about glue. All right, let's see what we've got here. And then, of course, we always save our excess foil or waste foil, whatever you want to call it. That was a good cookie, Leah. Why you do that to me? Don't you know I'm supposed to be on a diet? So I will go through and show you guys the packs again so you can see what everything looks like. Oh, I wanted to do... I like to try to keep my foils nice and flat so that I can reuse them. That guy's going to be super cool when we reuse him. I'm going to go through. I know a lot of people just jumped on and some of you guys left and went shopping and came back. So I'm going to show you what we did here. So first thing is make sure you are using, I would say definitely try to get a mink instead of a laminator for these because these are on high quality thick card stock. So if your laminator doesn't get hot enough, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. The other thing is, you know, check your foils. The, the fine details on here make it a little harder for the holographic foils to stick. So you might have to use thinner foils. You might also have to shim, okay? Um... She was really bold with her design, so that means that you're not always going to have, you know, if, if you want bold designs, you're going to have to do a little bit extra to make sure that that foil stays on there. So you want to stick to, on the bolder designs, stay with um, bold fonts, you can use holographic foil. Thinner designs with a lot of detail, you want to use the plain colored foil. But overall, I'm very thrilled with the designs I mean look at how cute they are for a company out of Australia to ship to us because um, a lot of companies as you guys know will not ship out of their country so really cute I like how everything kind of works together I do have some more here that we can go in and foil some more I do have plenty of foil cut so
And we'll go through and we'll do some more of these. Look at these sunglasses, though. So cool. And for those of you that are new, yes, welcome. You got to start somewhere, and we are a very supportive group. We will help you through this. We love our foils. This one's really cool. So pretty. This one I'm going to have to fix. That was my first one, so that's okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love it. This one's super cute, too. Like, I can see, like, just put, oh, put one of those hellos on here and send that to Leah's Nana. And then look at these bubbles. They're so cute. Just have to remember to put a little shim behind that one. Because the fine details on there... You gotta make sure you got a lot of heat, a lot of pressure on those. And I've never had fine details like this. I've this is the first time I've had a company do something at that fine. That is freaking cool. All right, we got enough here that we can save all of these, save those. We'll do a couple more and then I'll show you guys where the the designs came from. Oh, we'll do these turtles in dark green. So we did the other ones in light green. Yes, we have Tracy Schultz's website. We have Ryan's um, YouTube. Tracy has a blog as well as a YouTube. How many thumbs up are there? This is from a company called Crafty Critta outside of Australia. In Australia, not outside of Australia, in Australia. And there is a special discount code for one week for you guys. Only 65 And... Only 65 I'm going to start an early holiday giveaway, and I'm going to give away some, some holiday foils here soon. So, you want to stock up on all your foil art, because I was sending some foils along soon. More thumbs up, peoples. You heard the girl. More thumbs up, peoples. You like these designs, and you like being part of the FSC. Let's see your thumbs up. There's okay. only 66 thumbs up now. She says there's only 66 thumbs up, you guys. Seventy-two thumbs up. Seventy-two thumbs up. You know this child just loves the thumbs up. Seventy-four. I, I want to save these. Let's do another one with the flowers. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate you subscribing and thumbs up all the videos of my mom's YouTube channel. Ah, you're so cute. What do you want? <laughs> I want a thousand. Yeah, but you won't go fishing with me. Who wants to come over and go fishing tomorrow? I really need to go fishing. I'm going fishing by myself. I don't even care at this point. I need to go fishing. I cut the grass yesterday, so I don't have to worry about that. I did the laundry yesterday, so I don't have to worry about that. So I can go fishing tomorrow. Is it supposed to rain? I don't even know. Put a little shim behind that one. Aww. <laughs> Kim, I'm coming fishing up there with you. Alaska's on my bucket list. Alaska, Australia, Hawaii. I think I could do like a crafting, like, travel log. 
Lindy, I am using the mini mink. I actually was using two of them, my old one and this new one. This one seems to be a little friendlier than the old one today. I gave the old one a makeover. But um, I, I love the mini mink. And if you ask this group, they'll tell you, you get much better foiling with the mink than you do with a laminator. Laminator just unfortunately doesn't get hot enough. Where is that? Did I do chrome on the sunglasses before? I think I did regular silver, right? I did chrome on the tools. Well, not chrome, holographic. Oh, yes, Candace. And again, um, Crafty Crit is going to have their own foiling. They also have storage solutions for your IKEA units. So for those of you in Australia, this is your one-stop shop for everything that you need. Uh, to make your craft room reality here. I cannot wait to see. I can't believe, first of all, that they would ship me storage solutions from Australia, but I cannot wait to get it. You guys know, I've been struggling here with the amount of room that I have, and I just need to organize everything, so I'm super excited. Let's reveal these little turtles. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Yes, and I'm going to go try to put these and scan and cut them. So cute. Now I have light turtles. I have dark turtles. Look at how cute they're going to be on the little bubbles. Hi, Bernie, darling. How are you feeling? Hello, Richard. Perfect. Put a little shim behind that one, and it got all the little lines and all the little details. Look at that. So pretty. Perfect. So it seems like for me, adding a shim helps out, push pushes it up because of all the little details. You want all those little lines to have foiling. I know you guys are sick of rainbows, but I am not. Not, 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 not. Whoa, that was very dusty. Let it cool. so awesome minus the dust spot so if you have black spots like this on your foiling that's from not doing a good good job at dusting or when you're like me and you use your dust you use your dust brush for also cleaning off glitter off your desk which is not a good idea uh, or embossing powder so try to keep your brush pretty clean and keep all that up. look can you see that there's a fleck of glitter right there. Do you guys see that? So I have nobody to blame but myself on that one. But that is cool. Chow, you need to just get a P.O. box and hide everything there. Um, the holographic foil is from Creative Vision Steps, but they do have it at H&H. &H. Yes, ma'am. Can you foil acetate and vellum through the mink? Yes, you can, Millie. Yes, ma'am. The mini mink has a six-inch opening. The larger mink has a bigger open. Is it 12 inch? It's 12 inches, so you can fit scrapbook pages through there. So you can do either one. I do notice that with my between my mini mink and my larger mink, that the larger mink has to be on an even higher setting. Oh, I didn't even realize I was on three here. Oh, 
Okay, then. Maybe this mink is just in a better mood than the other mink was. That is 100% perfectly foiled. Look at that. FSC approved. Oh my gosh, you guys. Then we take one of those little hellos and we stick it on there. I am having so much fun. Let's do, what else do we have here? We can do blue stars on the stars. Is this would be too wide? Yep, too small. That was before I realized how big my panels were. I was cutting my foil too thin. Oh, look, that barely fits. We'll try that. shim seems to be helping me. I'm going to keep going with the shim. Just a little extra piece of paper. A little extra piece of pressure. If I need that in the mink, you're definitely going to need it in a laminator. And you better make sure that laminator gets boiling hot. Yeah, those bubbles are are cool. Let's try the bubbles in the color shift. Always want to make sure you dust. Always want to make sure you let it cool before you reveal. And again, because this is a thinner detailed line design, I am using the plain foil. There's no extra add-ons on this foil. And I am doing a shim behind it to help give it a little bit more pressure. What a difference from the from the first couple I did. It just takes getting used to, that's all. Look at that. So pretty. Gorgeous. Perfectly foiled. That's what we want. That's why we're the FSC. Foiling Snobs Club. Um, eclectically Millie, we've, there's really no code for H and H. We do have an affiliate link for them. There's no code because it's already dirt cheap. And you get 12 inch, you get large 12 inch rolls with 25 feet of foil. Now for those of you in Australia, it'll just be a short while longer, I believe. Um, and the, the foils will be available. So for my Australian friends, just be a little bit more patient. And you're going to have those foils. And they're going to be textile quality foils available from Crafty Krita. This is just a sneak peek launch of what you guys are getting. So, you know, I could have waited until they had the foils out. But I was like, no, I got to share the goodies. Got to share the goodies. Let's see how this turned out. Oh, they're so cute. Look at, look at all the little bubbles on the back side of the foil there. You see that? I know it's hard to see because it's so thin, but so cute. Let 
me do let me do some more of these fonts real quick Ryan, what time is your live tomorrow? Don't forget, Ryan has a live tomorrow on our Facebook group, Boiling Snobs Club. Ryan's lives are always a good time. He does some really cool things. Oh, yeah, let's do the ink blending. Let me do that real quick. Thank you for reminding me. Let's do that. The... Minx, I did link in yesterday's video. I'll link it for you again. I found a company that has them for, I want to say $52 or something like that. I don't know how many they have left. So I did find another company. I'm not affiliated with them. Um, also, if you can check your Tuesday mornings, but I'm definitely 100% going to recommend some kind of a mink, either a large mink or a mini mink, something like that versus a laminator for this project. Um, the foils, you guys have a ton of foils already in your stash. It'll work with any kind of toner or mink foil that you have. Um, for those of you in Australia, I would advise waiting because Crafty Krita is going to have their foils out very, very shortly. Um, the brush I got off of um, Amazon. You can check out my Amazon shop for that. And of course, you wanna join our Facebook group because we are just so much fun. I'm using a shim Bernie because of how detailed the designs are. It's just giving me that little bit extra pressure to push it up into the foil. Like, look how detailed these, these bubbles are. And I did it the first time without a shim, and they were okay. Using the shim has been giving me a lot better results. Thermo Web Deco Foil Transfer Gel. Yeah, you can use that through stencils, Lindy, and then foil through your stencils. Okay, Ryan's video tomorrow is going to be focused on background stamps, 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Yeah, the extra extra boost for the fine details. It's our little hugs. Okay, but this one, you guys want to see some ink blending, right? So we've done ink blending before. So I'm just going to grab my Distress Ink and Tumbled Glass, my little Distress Blending tool. Tracy's going to do a live tomorrow. And yep, this is the same kind of paper I recommend if you guys are going to be doing foiling at home and printing from your laser printer. This is that semi-gloss paper, so it's a nice thickness, but also look at how it takes ink. So if you wanted to color these images in, we'll color some in here. You want to use a water-based marker, but look at how it's blending nicely. No harsh lines. So now we have this water background with our foil bubbles. We can go over to the scan and cut and cut out our little turtles and put them right on here. Look how nice and even and smooth that is. Because this is not regular paper. It's a coated paper so that it accepts the toner better, it accepts your foiling better, and it even accepts the ink. Pretty! So cute. Okay, so then let's say you wanted to stamp on it. You could definitely stamp directly on it. I'll have to grab some stamps out to show you guys that. It's going to accept the stamp very easily, but like we can scan and cut those guys and put them on there. I wanted to grab one that we could color in. See, Bernie, this is the first one I did, and I didn't have my machine hot enough, and I didn't have a shim, and we lost some of the details in the center there. It just didn't get the foiling in there. So the shim helped out a lot with that.
You can tell the difference between the ones I started with and the ones I ended with. The ones I ended with are perfect. Look at this guy. Oh, we're going to ink blend him. Yes, you can even spray it with glitter spray. Yes, ma'am. You can do um, all of the distress sprays as well, like Ryan does. You can do all of that on top of foiling. And then all you do is your foiling resists it is you just take a little a little soft microfiber towel and you wipe it and the, the ink comes right off of the foil. You want to use water-based inks, okay? Because they'll soak into the paper, not sit on top of the paper. And I take my little towel and I wipe him off. Very gently. And now we have a blue background and we have a nice teal seahorse. And we can just glue one of our little hellos on there. Just glue a little, a little hello on there. I can even make the hello match and glue it on there. So a lot of things you can do. Oh, this one. Let me show you guys this one. So let's say, let's say I want a color and foil. Let me turn this back on. I recommend foiling first and then coloring, but you can do it the other way around. I'm going to take these wonderful zig markers that you guys sent me, or I mean these green markers that you awesome people sent me. I love you guys. I'm going to get my head out of the way there. You know, there is a such thing as black foil for this reason. If you want to leave this black, but you want it to be shiny, you can use black foil. Yeah, Lindy, if you're going to be serious about foiling, mink is the way to go. It really just ups your game. You can buy different foils. You can buy different printed designs. You can make your own printed designs. But when it comes down to the equipment, that mink really makes a difference. You have a dye that won't foil, Michelle? Is it printed from high quality toner or cut from high quality toner, like a deco a deco foil toner sheet or something? Are you doing it yourself? You can do the um, heat and bond we used yesterday. You can try that. Or are you doing hot foiling with dyes? Michelle, you'll have to post a picture in the group so we can see what's going on and try to help you with it. Um, I don't know how to explain the brush nib. I guess it's like Copics. Yeah, it's like Copics. It's not like brushy, brushy like the Jane Davenport's are. Yeah, these are more like a brush, like real, like a brush brush. Those are like a marker. Okay, so now I color that in. I want to make sure that my ink is dry because if it's wet, the foil will stick to it. I'm going to dry a little bit. I 
just want to make sure that's completely dry. I do not recommend using alcohol markers with your foiling. I did an experiment not too long ago, and the alcohol markers stuck to the foil, ate through the foil, so I do not recommend alcohol markers for any foiling. Use water-based markers. Yeah, if you can wait for the mink to go on sale, we usually post in the group when it's on sale. But she's, Stacy, she's in Australia, so I don't know how often she's going to see that. Ooh, let's do this. I'm going to let that cool. And then I will show you guys the graphics again. Where'd my chats go? Everybody got quiet. Yeah, I was like, what happened? Did I miss it? Hello, Moto. Look at that. So remember, any kind of dye inks that you have, you can do ink blending. You can color in with markers. So you're only limited by your own imagination on what you can do with these foil panels. You don't have to just foil it and leave it that way. You can, um, let me, where'd that ink blended one go? Here we go. So you can, you know, like I said, you can do the ink blending you can spritz on it, um, and then that foil is not affected by that ink blending. Good night, Jan. So for those of you that missed the beginning, I'll just go through and show you the graphics real quick, and then we are done for tonight. Thank you, Crafty Critter, for sponsoring this and sending these out for me to try out. Um, these are definitely... FSC quality good stuff here show you guys this one is called motorsports and you get eight sheets and we have the motorbikes dirt bikes we have these f1 racing cars which i just did in red and green show you those So here you can see it in red, and here it is in green. So there you can see those. We have the whole kind of like menagerie of different race cars, engines, funny cars, the lights, the uh, F1 cars, and then of course the tools, which I did in the holograph foil. Look at how cool those tools look. So much fun. So that one is called Motorsports. I 
and you get these I mean you get eight sheets and they're cut down you have a sheet covering the back a sheet covering the front and you get a discount code for this week good night Regina <coughs> Leah says, don't forget the thumbs up when you leave. <laughs> Night, Diane. Okay. The next one we have, I have them all like pulled out here because I was trying to use them all, um, is the Hello Sentiment Pack 2. And this is going to give you quite a bit of hellos. So you get some medium hellos and you want to cut lengthwise don't cut this way thank you michelle for noticing that you have some big hellos all different kind of fonts some more big hellos and then you have some little sentiments to go with it so here we go some sentiments that match with those hellos different sizes nice clean font so you can use them anytime anywhere that is that one okay then I have hugs this one is called hugs sentiment pack one and again you're going to get couple pages of the sentiments you just cut the strips across so you have these nice little mini strips and you don't have to foil these you can use them just like this no one's gonna know just cut the strips on there and then we have some little hugs again different fonts of little hugs and some bigger hugs and I've already cut some of these out and we're using them so you'll see I'm missing a couple pages here okay have those what else do we have here okay this one is tropical water and in tropical water we have this um, scuba diving gear we have the flippers some shells the mouthpiece the um, face mask so that's pretty cool we have some little waves a couple sheets of little waves here these are tiny little waves, tiny little waves there. So I would definitely use a shim and color those in with ink blending. We have um, we have these palm trees, which I did in the gold. They came out fabulous. Where are those at? Our little seahorse and turtles came out of there. So here are beautiful gold palm trees and where's our little turtle friends at? We have some turtles here. They came out of there. Our seahorse and then I have another set of turtles I did in the other color green with that. There we go. So those came with it. This this is the other side that was attached to the seahorse. Some smaller aquatic animals. And then I really like this background. This is going to be something that I think what I'd like to do is... I know this is going to sound weird, but actually take the time to... Um, cut out small pieces of foil and do kind of each one in different colors and then like I said you have these small critters that come with it that you can definitely cut out so like this see how this fish is kind of in the seaweed maybe you do the seaweed in green and you do this fish in orange or yellow and then you glue him with a glue dot on top of here so then we have this 3d diorama look that's going to be really cool so couple little sea creatures with that this one is really neat this isn't one you do in a hurry this is the one you take your time and really make it cool and then people are gonna say how did you do that just take your time and make that one look really cool neat that's that is a neat design I've never seen something like that before this one is the butterflies the sunglasses this is the summer one I like this one as well. I love all of them I do I can't tell you that there's one favorite one because I do love all of them so you guys saw the sunglasses that we did in the chrome and I did them in silver and they look great either way 
look how cool they look so we have the sunglasses for that one we also have these hibiscus ones so you have the green and the um hibiscus flower the foliage and the hibiscus flowers on there the butterflies you guys saw me do two of the butterflies with the rainbow foil another different pattern of butterflies and what else do we have oh sunglasses okay so sunglasses butterflies a bit okay so i showed you guys all of those that one is called summertime love that one the flowers i showed you So we already did the, the roses on that and came out very, very beautiful. Perfect just to go right on a card front. So these are called summer card toppers for this package. So again, you have the summer foliage with the hibiscus flowers. You have um, the roses. You have roses in the corners, roses in the corners there. So different ones. I've used those. And some more roses. And then this one's kind of abstract. I really love this one. I did this one in a couple different colors as well. Really neat for that one. And they're ready to go. You foil them, stamp your little sentiment on there, and away we go. Moving on to the next ones. Magical backgrounds. These are the finer detailed ones. But these also came out very beautiful. So for this one, we have the scales. Again, yeah, very fine line design. We have the fireworks, which I did in rainbow, and they look really cool in rainbow for the fireworks. Or, I mean, really, it could be anything. It, it almost looks like flowers, too, if you wanted to do, like, flowers, but I'm calling it fireworks. This one is, like, ribbons or seaweed. And the bubbles. The bubbles came out of here. So very fine line details. Just remember on those, I would recommend a plain foil, not a, not a um, holographic foil. You're better off with a plain foil with those and definitely want to use a shim on those just because of how fine and detailed the line art is on those. Okay, we have some bold backgrounds. Now on these bold backgrounds, a little bit thicker design, but you get two of the stripes this is going to be great for halloween doing these in like orange or purple or lime green we have this kind of honeycomb design and these tiny circles and then the stars which you guys saw me foil in a multitude of different foils as well and here's that one abstract design we just saw and then here we go we have the stars right here. Beautiful. Love it. This is going to be it. I can see using the stars and these stripes for Halloween designs. So that one's called Bold Backgrounds. And then we have the first one I showed you guys is Nautical, Nautical Breeze. Very very nautical beachy again my brother's in the navy so this just immediately made me think about him so we have the helm ship helm right um we have this one which is the anchor with the rope around it this one is again a nice mixture of lighthouse you have the um safety ring you have the birds the, the um ship so you have a lot of different nautical themes on this one the helm i already showed you guys and then the actual ship itself so really cool designs this is just a sampling of what's to come from this company crafty Krita out of Australia, um, giving you guys a discount on their new product on foil art, 20% off if you use the code Nancy01. They will ship to the United States. Um, go check them out. I am very, very pleased with all of these new refreshing designs. I know not everybody has a laser printer, so you can't always just go online and print your own. So for those of you that don't have a laser printer, don't have access to getting toner designs, 
this is nice to see a, a new company come out with all of these cool designs and these are you know just just the tip of the iceberg yes they're going to come out with some some more themed ones i'm sure we'll see some holiday themed ones here soon and they're going to be providing foil for you guys and like i said i saw the samplings of the foils you guys a lot of foil a lot of foil so for those of you um, that are just getting into this or those of you that I know, like I said, my, my Australian friends didn't really have an option. Please go check them out. Also, they have organization, um, bins and things like that for your markers and your inks and your paper and they fit into the Ikea craft organization line as well. So super excited i want to thank crafty Krita again for sending this out it is a special member in our fsc group so um we're very very lucky you guys very lucky if you like this video please give it a thumbs up before you leave if you have any questions post them down below i will link the website into the comments for you guys i'll also link our Facebook group if you want to join our Facebook group and learn a little more. If you missed out on some of the videos I did this week, I did one on hot foiling. What's the difference between hot foiling and mink or toner foiling? I did one using foiling with a laminator yesterday with some deco foil products. Uh, I did one with foiling with um, heat and bond, which is going to allow pretty much anything to become a toner sheet for you. So you can foil on anything. You can foil on t-shirts. You can foil on fabric. Um, so yeah, a lot of good stuff going on in the foiling world right now. And I'll also link for those of you that are in the U S we have a company called H and H foil. Unfortunately, we did sell them out in the last two, two times we've ordered from them. We've sold them out. They are restocking. So just be patient. They have to get used to all of us foiling snobs. Um, but they provided a lot of the foils that I use. And you guys have foil. You have Creative Vision Stamps foil. You have Deco foils. You have Heidi Swap foil. You have those foils. In the meantime, you can certainly use those foils. Just remember to dusty, dusty. And to that, I say good night and hugs to all of you. All right. And then keep an eye on our, uh, Tracy has a YouTube tomorrow. Ryan's going to do a Facebook live. So a lot of things to keep you guys busy this weekend. As always, thanks for watching. Keep on foiling and have a good night, you guys. Bye. Thumbs up on the way out. <laughs>